Hey guys, this is Garrett with Top Priority Hunting. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to go over the AXL insulated pad from Big Agnes. Um, these are the pads that Justin and I were able to run this fall. Um, we got these through Kendall along with the bags um, that we did in the previous video, the Blackburn Zero Degree. Um, you can find these on Black Ovis and on Big Agnes's websites. Um, I'll kind of recap that at the end of the video. So to get into um, this review, Going to go over kind of some basic stuff, um, pros and cons, um, why we thought it did well for us or why I th it, thought it did well for me. Um, I don't know if Justin's going to do a review on this pad, um, but anyways, I'll cover the basis of what we liked about it and how it did for us. We ran this pad in a late October hunt, um, so it was pretty cold weather. We we're in single digit weather. Um, some of our nights, so it, was, it got down pretty cold. So this is an insulated pad, just some of the technical features of it. This is a regular size pad, so it's 20 by 72. And then this weighs in right at 14 ounces and the R value, so it is an insulated pad. The R value is three out of four and a half that the Big Agnes carries on their line of sleeping pads. Um, your inner thickness is right at three and a quarter inches thick and then your outer baffles or are three and three quarters so you kind of have like an inner trough um, so when you slide this pad into the big agnes sleeping bags with their little pad attachment on the back of their bags um, your body just kind of lays in that trough and then that also helps prevent from you rolling side to side or off your pad for it only having a, a three r value i thought this pad did tremendously well um, in colder temps. I know there's some guys that like to run a higher R value that weighs more. Um, I don't get too cold. I sleep pretty hot um, and so does Justin. So to save weight, I went with pretty much the lightest weight pad that I could find from Big Agnes um, when Kendall reached out for us to run a couple different products. That was a huge factor that played into it was finding a specific piece of gear that could cater to us. And for that, it was being lightweight. Um, just a few dimensions when you break it down, um, condenses very well. Justin, this is Justin's pad. It's not rolled professionally by any means, but we could probably get it even a little smaller just to put it in perspective. Like here's a Coke can. Um, so the pads itself is very small when you get it in this in its sack and then it comes with an airbag to help inflate it i don't typically use this um, just because it's another item to pack i don't have a problem with blowing my pad up but the, i have used it a few times and it works tremendously well um, if i'm using it just in the truck or using this pad right outside the truck and i'll definitely take the blow up sack and keep it in there with it um, a couple other things um, I will not use this on early season hunts. I don't typically run an insulated pad in the beginning part of the season because I just don't need that insulation. Um, one cool thing though that I saw running this pad later in the season, I've never ran an insulated pad before. Um, you could really feel like the difference in warmth that your body kept inside your bag because you don't have that ground temperature that's cold seeping through your pad and into your bag. Like I slept a lot better with running an insulated pad this year. Um, if you guys have any other questions for us, feel free to reach out or leave a comment below on this video. And then also reach out to the guys at Black Ovis. There's some really knowledgeable people that carry this product that can talk about it all day long. Um, I just wanted to go over a couple of the features that I liked from it and why it worked well for us in later season hunts. And then also give Black Ovis a follow. And if, if it's not on their website, hop over to Big Agnes. You can find any other products that, that may not be on Black Ovis or they're either out of stock on Black Ovis. So thanks for watching. And uh, once again, any comments or questions, feel free to drop a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks guys.